This is my first attempt at rescuing a tape that has sticky shed or stuck tape syndrome. You can tell you have a tape that has stuck tape syndrome because when you play it, it will generally make a squeaking sound and slow down to a stop. This is because the binders in the tape have absorbed humidity over time, causing the emulsion to stick to itself. Sometimes the tape won't even eject, but I think I caught this one in time. The tape we're rescuing today was made sometime in the mid-1980s. It's an Ampex, although this problem was common to a number of brands. In this case, we have a tape from Oregon State University called OSU Goes Improv, recorded in 1990. This doesn't work. Sorry, Jeff and Andy. Our setup consists of a Breville convection oven that you can get on Amazon. It's important that the oven you use have a temperature setting that can go down to 130 degrees or even lower and maintain the reliable constant temperature. In addition, we have a digital thermometer with an alarm in case the oven goes over temperature. Inside the oven is also another analog thermometer just to double check things. Finally, we have a kitchen timer, which we will use to remind us to flip the tape over every hour. We are going to do a bake time of six hours based on articles I've read on the internet for this size of tape. And here we go. Okay, we've just about reached the end of the first hour. And I'm going to rotate the tape. I'm not using an oven mitt here because both thermometers tell me that we are below 130 degrees. So I'll just flip it over. I'll do this fast so you don't lose temperature. We're coming up on the end of six hours now, and rather than take the tape right out, we are going to let it cool slowly in the oven without opening the door. It should take a few hours. Articles say that if it cools too quickly, it can reabsorb moisture from the air. We'll check in periodically with this thermometer and wait until the tape is ready to take out of the oven. It's been two hours and the temperature has stabilized, so I'm going to take the tape out and test it. Here we go with our test. That doesn't sound encouraging. We got error 20, which is an error that often comes up with stuck tapes. And to get the tape out, you have to power cycle the machine. We're going to start with finger on the eject button and then turn on the power with my other hand. Pressing the buttons at power up didn't seem to work so I'm going to have to take the lid off the VTR and manually extricate the tape. And it appears the tape has not even started to wind out of the cartridge. So I'm going to work it backwards. And out the front of the unit. So here we go again. I did find one article indicating that these three quarter inch umatic tapes can take a very long time, up to 16 hours to bake. We'll do this in four hour increments just to see how it does. Okay, it's playing. A little bit of squeak going on, but we have a picture. So I'm gonna let it keep going as long as I can. Let me adjust the skew here so there's no squeak. I'm gonna go over to the computer and digitize it from this point in the tape. You can see it is digitizing. I didn't wanna risk rewinding the tape and having it get stuck again, so we're gonna capture as much of the program as we can until the tape reaches the end, then rewind and try and capture the first half. We've made it nearly to the end of the tape. The program is now wrapping up. The counter was at zero when I put the tape in. So when I rewind, it'll go past zero and tell me how far I have to play it to digitize the first half and get back to zero. You can hear the deck slowing down as we get closer to where we put the tape in. So it may still be having issues with the first half of the tape. It may still need more baking. There it has stopped. I'm gonna try one other little trick I was told about, and that's to play forward. I'm gonna engage the shuttle mode and wind the tape back visually. This seems to be working better than just the plain rewind. 
Okay, here we are at the intro to the program. So I'm slowing down even more. There's the counter numbers. I've got it on pause now. And it looks like I have to digitize about 30 more minutes. Let's hope this works. Here's the final product. After 27 years in storage, this program can be enjoyed again.